welcome to my channel. I know it has been a hot minute. It has been a hot minute. One second. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So if you watched my last vlog, you would know where I went. If you didn't watch my last vlog, why not? I'll link it here so you can watch it. So I had to go to Dallas for two weeks for training for a new job that I have started, that I have started already. I was gonna say that I'm about to start, but I already started. So for training, and I had two videos that I was gonna pre-film so that they could be up while I was gone. I filmed, I filmed them both and I watched them both back and I didn't like either one of them. So I didn't have any videos that went up. So I was in my A for two weeks, it looked like. But if you follow me on Snap, then you would have seen everything that I was doing. All the good stuff, all the fun, all the turn up, all of it. Anyway, while I was away, my hair did not want to cooperate. Of course it didn't. Like, why would it? Why would it want to cooperate when I'm away? Just didn't cooperate for me. So I did this one cute style, protective style, that like literally took me probably like 10 minutes. And it was really, 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 really cute. Really cute. So, so I decided to film a video and show you the style. So it was two flat twists and then I pulled it down like this and then the back part that was out, I left out. I just finger coiled it and it was really cute. I'm thinking about finger coiling my whole hair, my whole hair, my whole head, but I don't know how long that's gonna take. Anyway, if you wanna see the style, the cute protective style, then so no lie i had to be in class at like 7 45 but i was up dressed and ready by six o'clock down in the lobby to get on the bus to go to training and i kid you not this style took me literally like 10 minutes if that the longest part of this is going to be the coiling so once you get that down pat here we get to go. So first I figured out where I wanted my two flat twists to go. And it was something like this. If you see stuff falling, it's probably a bit of everything. Gel, conditioner, creamer, pretty much everything that works in my hair. So I'm just gonna part this down and then I'm gonna probably separate it. I'm telling you, this top was like super cute, especially because my hair wasn't cooperating with me like I needed it to do. So, the parting doesn't have to be perfect though, because I'm pretty sure mine is not. But anyway. And Kaylana's in here, so if you hear noise in the background, you know she's not far. Say hi, Kaylana. Hi. Of course, Kaylana's always here. So, once you get the side that you're going to be working with, and let me tell you, this hair is just like stretched to the max. Like, stretched to the max. I don't know when I'm going to wash it, but hopefully sometime soon. So then I'm just going to brush it out and using my paddle brush, this is what I did when I was there. Cause like I said, I still have some type of texture like here and there in this hair of mine. So we're just gonna get all that texture out so that we're working with one texture, which we all know is impossible. I have a thousand textures in my hair, but 
the manipulated texture, I should say, and that's from like the braids, the twists, whatever else I was doing to try to buy me time. And so I'm just brushing out whatever type of texture is in here. So we're looking a little bit like this. And then I'm just going to put some gel in there. Around the edges. What is this gel? And then I'm just gonna smooth it out. And then you can kind of like figure out how you want your twist. I did my twist in. You can do your twist in or out. I do mine in just because it looks neater to me. Anyways, I'm going to put some oil just throughout my hair. Kind of tame it a little bit. And then I'm going to begin flat twisting. And I'm not the best explainer on how to flat twist. So uh, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, YouTube tutorials. So I'm just going to take the part that I'm going to begin flat twisting and then flat twist all the way back and once you get the hang of flat twisting it's super easy like I think flat twisting is like Probably easier than cornrow. And then once you get to the back, you don't want to flat twist this part. Then you're gonna want to put a little thingamajigger hair tie on that. So now we're going to do the same thing on this side and check the speed this up. up this hair tie already in here and just wrap another one around it combining the two and then this is when we are going to finger coil so then you just take pieces of like little sections of the back part and I just take gel smooth it out comb it out and then just twist. Like I twist the whole part of the hair. So it should look like this. Hold on, I need to twist some more. Like that. So I just have a few more to do. And 
and then just tidy around the hairline. Does anybody else make like sound effects and don't know where they're trying to find? Because I do. And voila, we are finito. This is like a really cute protective style when you're in a rush and your hair is dirty and you're way past wash day and you have no other options and you're tired of wearing a bun. Here we are, another option and it's cute. So this is the finished look. Two flat twists and coils in the back if you know, you're know you looking for another cute protective styling. I wore this and I absolutely loved it and I may try to coil my whole head. Maybe. I don't know if I have the guts to do it. I see a sparkle over here. I don't know where that came from. But yeah, I hope you loved this video. If so, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed already, I am back videos every week vlogs every week i need to get back into my groove <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye peace